What's going on, Purple Squad? Phil Steven here. Welcome to another follow up for What Happens video. This one here was requested by Mike Small, who actually sent me an email. So I guess that's one way for me to see it. <laughs> he wrote, Hi, I love to watch your videos on Fallout 4, especially the ones where you do What Happens If. I had an idea for one of those videos. What happens if you get Silver Shroud costume, then you give away everything to the pillars of the community? You do this before you meet Kent Connolly and start his quest. So Mike Small wants me to grab Silver Shroud's costume. Go to the pillars of the community and see if it will give it away to them before I start the Silver Shroud quest. So in order to do that, the first place we had to head to is the Hubris comic book store. So let's go. Alright, here we are at Hubris comic book store. Now that we are in the comic book store, let's see if we can grab the Silver Shroud outfit before starting the quest. Alright, here we are. There is a silver shot outfit. Yay, I can grab it. Okay. So I can grab it. Oh god. Okay, now that I have the costume, let's head right to the pillars of the community and see if I can get rid of it. I don't think it's going to work because it's a quest item. But if that's the case, I will try it again with the mod that allows me to remove quest items. There we go. And as you can see, I cannot drop it. Quest items cannot be removed from inventory. Charles View Amphitheater. Okay, here we are. Before I start this, I'm going to quick save right here. Hello. I hope you decide to change your life today. Hey there. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? The whole world is broken. That's what I used to think. Until I found a way to make a difference. To transform my life. And maybe everyone else's too. We call ourselves the pillars of the community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth. And you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. Sounds good. Well, that's just fantastic. I know you're going to fit right in around here. I hope you decide to become one of the pillars of the family. Right this way, neighbor. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Initiate <laughs> Initiate just got blown up, dude. Was he the only was he the only one that died? Oh my nope. This one as well. Missionary got blown up. He's crippled. He's crippled for life now. Alrighty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job, getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a first level pillar of the community. Here, this is everything I have. Oh, you're really going to... Uh, welcome. You've made a brave step into a bright future. You're now officially a pillar of the community. So here's level one. Repeat this mantra to yourself until you truly believe it. I deserve a better life. A better life is coming. A better life is almost here. Once you truly believe that in your innermost self, you'll be ready for level two. That's when things will really start to happen for you. I can't believe I gave you everything for a stupid self-help mantra. 
You'll never get to level two with that attitude. All right, well, everything was removed from inventory. It's still being removed, except the Silver Shroud outfit, which is exactly what I thought. I'm going to have to install a mod that allows me to drop quest items and see if that then works. And, and he has all my stuff in his inventory. That's hilarious. There we go. Drop quest items for Fallout 4. Install. Alright, here we are. The mod is installed. I should be able to drop. And yes, I can. So as you can see, I can drop it, which is perfect. Hell yeah. The pillar of the community. Here. This is everything I have. Oh. You're really going to... Uh... Welcome. So, he, uh -huh. I des... Uh -huh. Once you truly believe that... I deserve a better life. That's it, neighbor. Alright, the Silver Shroud outfit should now be removed. And it is. It is completely gone. Only some miscellaneous stuff are in my inventory, like the overseer door password and all the stuff, and Kellogg's terminal password. Of course, a chip. There you go, see? Silver Shroud costume removed, silver hat removed. So now that Brother James has all that, I'm gonna start the quest and see what happens with Kent Colony if he tells me to go here or to Hubris Comics. You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Hi. Good neighbors, crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. B -b but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. That sounds familiar. You'd remember him if you heard his show. They're the What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Good on you for trying to make the world better. I just have to do something, you know? I've built my own custom machine gun. Mm -hmm. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? So I have the option for already have it. See what happens. As it happens. I already have your costume. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Oh, I can hand over the costume, apparently. Let's do it. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. Yeah, the problem is I didn't just give you the costume. Silver Shroud material. Don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea. Right. You up for being a Silver Shroud? Looks like I get the costume and gun of yours. So you patrol good neighbor's street and hmm. Okay, so it looks like he gives you the costume back no Here's matter what. Calling. Time to fight sure. Let's see real quick. If I go to my inventory. Peril. Yeah, I have the silver shroud armor, but not but I'm missing the, the hat though. The hat is gone. Now if I go back to Brother James, does he still have my regular costume? Let's check. Uh... Check his inventory. Yep, here we go. Silver Shroud costume and Silver Shroud hat. I now have double the armor. That's cool. And I also have my hat. Well, Mike Small, thank you for the request. That's what happens when you talk to Brother James with the Silver Shroud outfit. If you install the mod, he will take the outfit. And then when you start the Silver Shroud quest, no matter what, you still tell Kent that you have the outfit on you, even though you don't. And he will actually duplicate the outfit for you and give you the armored version. You can then, you can then come back to Brother James, 
kill him and take your original outfit and the hat back. And none of the quests break actually, you can just complete the quest as regular. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to leave your request down below for Fallout 3, New Vegas or 4, and Outer Worlds is just around the corners, so I can't wait to start to make videos on that game as well. Thanks for watching guys, Fiddle Steven out, and remember, stay proper. Peace.